Hi, welcome to the marketactionresearch.com tutorial on how to use LunaTap uh, with your Stripe account to connect the two so you can have mobile payments. And uh, to get started, you will have to create a Stripe account. I'm not gonna go over those steps in this particular tutorial. Um, however, I will cover it from the point of you already having a Stripe account. Uh, if you don't already, you can go through and uh, sign up on stripe.com um, and then by creating an account. But after you've already created your Stripe account and you've filled in all the details, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is go to Lunatap and uh, their website is lunatap.com. And uh, their website and company is partnered up with Stripe so that you can uh, take mobile payments on your phone. So while you're on the go, uh, it just makes a really easy way for you to uh, connect the two and uh, take mobile payments on the go. And the app is really, really easy to use, very, very straightforward. So afterwards, uh, you can get that all set up. If you're interested in learning more um, about how LunaTap works, you can take a look at their website and they go into uh, all the details and information on uh, everything about their app. Um, what I'm gonna be covering is a screen share of what those steps look like the very, very first time that you get set up on the app. So what you wanna do is either go to the App Store for iOS devices or go to the Google Play Store and then uh, you would download that. So um, assuming that you've already done that and you've downloaded the app on your phone, um, and you already have your Stripe account, the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna open the app. So what that's gonna look like is just like this. And from here, you can select the language. Currently, they have listed for English, Espanol, and as well as French and German. So after you select your language, you would go ahead and hit the Select Language button, which would take you to the next page. Um, from here, they're going to show some slides, uh, brief information about how uh, the platform works, but you can go ahead and hit the sign up with Stripe, and that will bring up this page. So um, they actually sort of make it easy for you. Uh, if you don't already have a Stripe account, you can just sign up in the LunaTap uh, app. This will redirect you to Stripe's website so that you can sign up. Um, but assuming that you already have that, you would just click on the sign in with Stripe to connect. So you go ahead and click that. And that would bring you to this page um, where you would go ahead and type in your email and your password. Um, you could choose whether to have it remember you or not. And then uh, once you have signed in, uh, you go ahead and press sign into your account. And then you're gonna get a message that pops up here. Uh, this is for verification, it's for security, it's to make sure that your account is safe. And so you will get a text message sent to the email that is set up for your Stripe account. Uh, once you receive that, you would go ahead and type in this six digit code that's here and then sign into your account with that blue button. And from here, you'll notice that there are um, options that you'll have to switch between accounts if you have multiple uh, Stripe accounts and you're using your device for uh, multiple accounts. Um, and so you would just go ahead and connect with Stripe account. So once you get there, this is the dashboard page. And from the dashboard, you'll see that there is a dashboard button, there's a sales button, customers and more. Um, I'm not gonna cover these other tabs that are here, but I will just show you how you can very, very quickly and easily uh, make the mobile payments while you are on the go. So to get started and create your very, very first sale, you just click on this little blue button here at the bottom, and that would bring you to the new sale page. From here, you could type in whichever the amount is that you'd like to charge. So if you wanted to type in, uh, in this example, $50, you would just go ahead and click five zero. And um, once you did that, it would populate that up in here in the field. Uh, normally this would just be blank. Um, you could also add a sales note if you'd like to, uh, but that's completely optional. 
And uh, once you are satisfied with the dollar amount here, you can go ahead and press the blue charge button here down at the bottom, which will bring you to the card details page. And from here, they actually have two ways that you can capture the credit card number and expiration day. You could either just type it in here by uh, typing it in from the credit card that you are charging and the expiration date, or they also have an option here where you can use the camera. And what's neat about this is it pops up a little box where you can capture the credit card information and it will scan in the card number and expiration date. And from the security code standpoint, you'll see that there are three or four digit code. Now for Visa, MasterCard, uh, Discover, this three digit CVC card would actually be on the back of the card. And you would go ahead and type in those three digits that are on the back. If you're using an American Express, this is gonna be the four digit code that's located on the front of the card, usually somewhere to the right uh, just above the numbers is typically where those are placed. Um, and then once you're ready, you just go ahead and press the charge the amount. Um, and that's it. Uh, if you need to go back to edit the dollar amount by any chance, uh, something was not entered correctly there, you can go ahead and click the back arrow and which would bring you back to the previous page. Um, there's also a, uh, a back arrow on that page as well too. So if you wanted to just go back to the dashboard, you could just by clicking that little back arrow up here. But if everything's good, you just press charge and that's that. And uh, in very uh, quick tutorial on how to take mobile payments uh, using your Stripe account and Lunatap. I hope this is helpful for you. And thank you so much for watching this marketactionresearch.com tutorial. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. Or if you'd like to see any future tutorials on uh, other services by Lunatop, uh, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. Thank you again for watching. Hope you have a great day. MarketActionResearch.com, taking your business where you want it to go.